They say money isn't everything, and I agree. However, I also know that without money, you can't get anything. These days, surviving on one source of income is almost impossible. You need at least three to four sources of income to live a comfortable and happy life. For this reason, I am introducing you to another way you can make cool passive income. You're welcome. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nemma Ebeledike. I am a broadcast journalist, a voiceover artist, and an entrepreneur living in Lagos, Nigeria. And on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing how you can set up a Fiverr account as a voiceover artist. Now, Fiverr is a marketplace, an online marketplace for freelancers to sell their services to various buyers i did a video on fiverr i think a couple of months ago you can watch that um on you know how i made um, a certain amount of money on fiverr during a particular period of time you want to watch that to know that fiverr is real yo and they really pay you can make a lot of money from fiverr so this is how you can create an account on fiverr as a voiceover artist all right first of all you will need to create your fiverr account before you can even start selling anything all right so you sign in you create an account with your email address create a password like the normal way you create an account on any platform that's how you create it on fiverr as well so put in your email whatever your email is <laughs> then you continue then put a password make sure it's a strong password so nobody you know gets into your account then after creating um your account and you log in this is what you will see right when you finished you know putting your email and your password and you've you know created the account and you log in for the very first time this is what you will see all right so you go to my business go to gigs and from there you can now create your first gig you scroll down 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 <laughs> then become a seller that's where you go click on that and of course continue read all of that please read everything um yeah so then you continue <laughs> um yeah so this is very important you have to read all of this as well to know what makes a successful fiber profile then continue um yeah so these are things that you know you have to stay clear of hmm. it's very important that you read all of this and understand it because i mean some of these things if you do them you can actually have your fiber account deleted even if you have money on it that is it's a lot i think i'll share that in the next video you know of some things just there clear off on fiber and explain in depth for you um yeah so when you've understood everything please continue <laughs> um yeah so we're moving on then you have to put in your personal info so you put in your first name your last name um very important then your display name that's how you want you know your name to be seen by your clients um yeah i'm going back to put a proper name because <laughs> they won't allow that kiki that's my proper name so um your display name can be like you know an, an initial or your nickname then put a profile picture something that represents you as a voiceover artist probably with headphones then um you give a description now this is where your voiceover profile comes in um i think after the video on that because as a voiceover artist you need to have a voiceover profile 
so it's easy for you to just you know talk about yourself and all the things you've done as a voice of artist or the works you've worked on then um of course after writing your description you're gonna move to the language but i'm still writing the description because i want you guys to understand how it's gonna be so you write my name is Kiki okafo i am a um broadcast journalist voice artist entrepreneur content writer you write everything relating to yourself as a voice of an artist and also relating to your job um, but make sure it's not more than 600 words as you can see that's the limit um yeah that's basically it Alrighty, so you add the language that you speak, um, English, then you put the level that you're at, right? So it could be fluent, conversational, but I put fluent. So add, then you can add new. So you, you can add another language that you're really good at. Um, yeah, so I put French. Then you put the language level again. Maybe you're fluent, you're conversational, you're at the basic level. Just put whatever level you're at. And like that, you can still keep adding more languages that you're really good at. So there you have it. Then you continue. Uh, moving on. You put your profile picture. Please do not forget the profile picture. That's very important um, for your profile. Then professional info. Um, you're going to put your occupation. And for voice for artists, you have to choose. Um, is it music and audio? Yeah, music and audio. Mm -hmm. Music and audio is very important. You put that. Then you move on to um, the year you started doing voiceovers. I put, I think, 2016. Then to 2023. Okay. Um, so you're going to choose two to five of your best skills in music and audio. Now, these are skills that relate to voiceovers. Um yeah so you're just gonna pick the best two to five that you know you can deal with um yeah so that's how it works all right so after you're done with that part you're gonna move to the skills part and this is where you add the skill related to the service you're offering and you add your experience level as well so you can see you can peak um commercial voiceover you can pick um cartoon voiceovers that animation you can pick you know character voice deep voice impersonation voiceover narration voiceover i mean any option you want just pick it normal voiceover <laughs> and that's it right then you're gonna add your experience level very important if you're an expert at that add now you can add new so this the voice talent you saw you can pick as much as you want and just keep adding new then add your experience level and add that's like that you just keep adding all right so after that you move on to your education you want to know where you went to school at <laughs> so um yeah so you put pick the state um the country rather then the school um after that, you're gonna pick what you, um, the level you studied at, and then your major. Um, yeah, so you pick the year as well that you graduated. Um, very important. You're gonna pick that as well, 2020. <laughs> and you add. Now, after you add, you can still, you know, add other schools you've been to maybe you, you're at the master's level or phd you want to add that as well okay then you move on to the certification what certificates do you have what certifications do you have so that's very important so it could it could even be you know things not related to voiceover you can add that there let them know that you're a boss in other fields as well and they can trust you to deliver all right so you can add other fields as well 
um just use education is very important all right so you add a year and add add new if you have 10 certifications hallelujah add and add and add then your personal website for those of you that have websites you add your website then you move on um accounts of course add all your accounts um yeah that's important very important so yeah to add in that you move on um so for your account security it's very important that you you know verify your account through your email and add your phone number right it's very important because it's going to keep your account secured um yeah so you continue and create your first gig after doing that that's what's up after you click on continue your gig it takes you to this page and you click on my business and go to gigs then it will show you this page you're gonna fill everything up gig title um you're gonna write what you do i will record um professional voiceovers for you or i will record um you know a deep voice over for you in english um or i will record voiceovers of for you in an african accent so you're going to just pick a very catchy phrase that you know you would catch people's attention so you can see that i said i record professional voiceovers female voiceovers just perfect they got that so you go to category choose a category and subcategory most suitable for your gig so i've already cho chosen that music audio and then under subcategory voiceovers then you move down to your gig metadata now that's very important because you're going to choose the language your narration language which is english i chose english um whatever yours is you can choose it and yeah so you choose that then when you're done with language you choose your gender female or male um i went back to language because i didn't choose anything <laughs> So make sure make sure you choose everything because you can't move on if you don't, right? Um, so you choose the narration accents under English, English British, and maybe English Indian or English American. Choose just two, all right? Then um, you can choose more than two though. So you move on to the purpose of your recording, maybe audiobook, podcast, phone system, but you can choose just three under that section right you choose the best one that fits you know your voice over career then you move on to the age range how old are you <laughs> um so you can pick youth adults middle-aged senior then your tone you can select up to five tones of voice that you deliver on this particular gig Honestly, I feel this part is just for formality because when the order comes, the client will still tell you what tone they want it to be delivered in. And it might not even be part of the tones you selected, all right? Um, so we move on to the search tags, positive keywords relating to your gig. Very important. So um, your clients can find you. So you put voice acting, voiceover, um, voicemail, <laughs> uh, voice. You know put things relating to voiceovers it keeps popping up so it really helps you to know what you want to put the tags you want to impute on your gig uh yeah so when you're done you're gonna save and continue baby okay all right so yeah that tag doesn't work <laughs> uh so just save and continue delete that save and continue okay All right, so this part is very important, scope and pricing. Um, so the first part, you're going to put a particular number of words. Advice 100 words is fine. Then put a number of revisions that you allow on that gig. Of course, click the audio file will be in WAV format. Very important. Um, then put a prize that you would put for 100 words. I put $10 because you're just starting. It's good to, you know, start at a low price to attract people because you really don't have any reviews on your page at this moment so you really want to attract as many customers as you can um so each additional words each additional 50 would cost extra five dollars all right um delivery time what's your delivery time for that particular number of words 
um, I would say maybe two days, you know, for up to 100 words, let's say two days, which is okay. And for an additional maybe 50 words um, or maybe 100 words, however you want to put it, but 50 or 100 is fine, 100, you add an extra one day in the overall delivery time. Now, there are upgrades added to the... Um, to the order this would help you get more money so if the person wants extra fast delivery that's you know outside the scope of what you said earlier if they want it to deliver to be delivered in maybe 24 hours or maybe even less than 24 hours you're gonna put the amount you're gonna charge there okay so the first one is extra fast delivery within one day yeah that's 24 hours you can deliver up to how many words can you deliver up to maybe 100 words or 1,000 words for an extra fifty dollars cha ching <laughs> money in the bag so if you want to um script proofread that's extra five dollars for 100 words commercial rights you're gonna put the price for that fifty dollars um so read up all of this you know the blue icon so you're sure of what you're doing and you're sure of you know if you want to offer that upgrade to your gig all right so time audio sync per 60 seconds um that's if you're gonna add the audio to a video for them so you put how many days it's gonna take you to do that particular gig then you put maybe 50 dollars um yeah so we're adding a background music for your client you add how many days that's gonna take you and then how much that's gonna cost okay so this is a new feature subscriptions you can look through that but as a new person, I don't think you need that because you really don't have clients, right? To subscribe to anything at the moment. So save and continue. Description. You briefly describe your gig. So I put something there already. What is on my own fiber page? Hi, my name is Nema. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> so all of that, right? You put what you do, how you do it, and just describe yourself briefly as a voiceover artist, okay? um milestone workflow is also a new feature you don't need to do that right now so just continue and then you move down um you see frequently asked questions now you add questions that you think your buyers you know would ask you know it shows on your page um when they want to order they can just quickly you know look at the frequently asked questions and get their answers without even asking you so can you deliver in less than 25 24 hours <laughs> um yeah you put it there different questions you know you can put oh what do you record with what kind of equipment do you record with you state the type of microphone you record with and so many more questions you just add it there all right Now at this point, um, this is where you get all the information you need from buyers to get started with your gig. Um, so you add questions to help buyers provide you with exactly what you need to start working on their order, right? So um, you add questions like what tone, you know, do you want the project to be recorded in? What's the pacing? Um, I mean, what accent? You know, basic voiceover questions that would, would guide you. Do you have maybe um, a sample of what 
you want me to follow you know ask all the questions you need to ask because it's very important okay So when you're done with all of that, save and continue. Um, yeah, so this is the part where you show off, baby. <laughs> so you showcase your services in a gig gallery. Mm -hmm. So this is very important. Um, they added a new feature because I know when I set up my Fiverr account, there was no video. But now you can add a video where you talk about yourself as a voice of an artist, of course. Um, then you add audio. I, I would advise that part of the three audio files you're adding should be your demo. Your demo is very important. Okay, it's very, very important. Um, then images, of course, then documents. Um, documents really, I don't know, it doesn't really count. You can add your voice over profile, but I mean, <laughs> that's if you want. Um, yeah, so when you're done adding all of this, you're gonna you're gonna name them right you're gonna name them see you're gonna name it at name, your voice demo reel then you select the purpose um you can put video narration you know yeah video narration basically then put the accent that's in the audio file that you put up um then put custom tags as well you can you can put just one option <laughs> that's why it's red just one um so after that you put custom tags um you're good to go after custom tags Congratulations! You're almost done with your first gig! <laughs> I'm super excited for you. Alright, so at this point, you verify your account. Um, put your country, put your phone number, then you choose um, either to verify by text or by call. And when you're done with that, you put the code and you're there! You're almost there, baby! So you publish gig. And now, your gig is open for business, baby! <laughs> Alright guys, there you have it. How to create an account on Fiverr as a voiceover artist. Ooh, <laughs> I really love helping you guys make more money. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. And I really urge all voiceover artists to create an account on Fiverr. What are you waiting for? Create your account to day alrighty so if you like this video actually like the video subscribe to this family and share to your family and friends share to everybody you know let them know how much people are making on fiverr hmm making so much money um yeah till next time guys i'll be back with amazing content and of course you would want to miss that okay all right bye guys so got